Okay, so Julia, this is the, the camera right here, and we are in per Persephone. Persephone, New Jersey, meeting together for one day, a flying hinder shots spanning the country, and this is the girl who was scared to get on an airplane and told you, how old, when did you get on an airplane, jo uh, Julia? You were 17, <laughs> and after that, what did you realize? I just to go everywhere. Yeah, you thought you were scared of airplanes. So you have a CDL license, and uh, headed across country. Again. Yeah. So she's going to describe. She's she's going to tell me about her road trip using this map. All right. So tomorrow I have eight passengers in okay. my van, and we're going to start in New Jersey. We're going to go come along the 80 and go up. Sorry, up to Rochester mm -hmm. and to Niagara Falls tomorrow night. Wow. And come down to Sandusky, Ohio, mm -hmm. across from Cedar Point, if you've ever, roller coaster capital of the world. Whoa, are you going to ride a roller coaster? Uh, I don't know if, if everyone wants to. Are you, scared of, are, you, are you scared of roller coasters? Yeah. Still. Yeah. The girl jumped out of an airplane. <laughs> yeah. <I'm still laughs> okay. scared of roller coasters. <laughs> And then go across 90 over to Chicago. Stay there for two nights and pick up another passenger. Has have you been to Chicago before? Nope. I'm about to drive it with a trailer. <laughs> the traffic, well, it's the easiest city to navigate. It's yeah. A, it's, I only it's have completely like. completely wide open. I just have to it's, park it. It's a great it city. But it's, what time are you going to be hitting it? Um, around four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, you're just gonna be stuck. In, you're, just, you're just gonna be looking at the, at the other cars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it'll be a lot of traffic. Are you gonna, you're gonna stay in Chicago for two days. Two days, and then yeah, that'll be great. You, you, you have to call me from Chicago because I know a lot of shit to do over there. All right, All for right. sure. And then we go up the 90, up again, up to Wisconsin. It's the longest drive yet. This will be I, near 10 hour driving I've time. I've done that. I've been to a Steuben, Wisconsin. Let's see, it won't with be on me this, and this me and Blake. Small. Yeah, let's see, I have driven once to Rockford, which is where Ulysses S. Grant was born, to Dubuque, and I stayed at a farm right... I might have to get my, my finger on this map. It's over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right there. Yep, yeah. so I'm going to just keep going past it all, though. Okay. Up here, up here, Yeah. and keep going over all the way to South Dakota. Whoa. And then there's like nothing in <laughs> South Sioux Dakota. City. Well, on the way, there's the Spam <laughs> Museum and the Jolly Green Giant. Oh, that's America right <laughs> there. Look at, look, just like, and it's flat, too. <laughs> and then the next day, I'll drive across. How, how, how fast will you go, Julia? I'm only allowed to go 70 miles per hour. Through South Dakota? How, how, yeah. How, like, well, I have a no car chip that'll beep if I go over. <laughs> okay. It records it. So it I really oh, can't. Turn off my... Technical interruption, YouTube. Oh, no. Press pause. All right. And then the next day I'll go to Rapid City and we'll go to the Badlands National Park. Badlands, Lincoln, Nebraska. Do you know that Bruce Springsteen song? Yeah. We'll learn it today. And then I'll go over to Wyoming and go to Glacier National Park. Okay. Or, yeah. No, first I'm going to Yellowstone. Sorry. First Yellowstone. Be there for two nights. Then I'm going up to Glacier, which is up near Canada, for uh -huh. two nights. And then I head up to Alberta, Canada, and go to Banff National Park for three nights. Uh-huh. Uh, then I go over to Golden and go whitewater rafting on the Crazy Horse River. Stay there for one night. And then I go all the way over to Vancouver. Stay there for two nights. Down to Seattle. I'll see you, Eva. One night, down to f go down to Oregon, but we're gonna stay in Florence on the coast and go dune buggy riding. Oh my God! See on the coast for one night, then down to San Fran to see Brad and Sarah for two nights. Go back into Yosemite National Park. It'll be the third time this summer I've been there. Yosemite National Park. Be there for two nights. Go back over to the coast to San Luis Obispo. Pismo Beach and stay there uh -huh. for one night and then down to Los Angeles, give a Hollywood tour and drop off my passengers. Wow. Okay, now we're going to listen to Badlands. <laughs> Ju Julia, this is a song by Bruce Springsteen that you have to play while you're going in the Badlands. 
Oh, no, no, no. That's not right no, hold up, hold up. This, this, this one, this, I had the wrong song actually. Because this song that I want is about Charles Starkweather. What is it? Charles Starkweather. And Bruce Springsteen. Starkweather. I'm typing like dad <laughs> with uh, a well, see, we'll see what happens. Charles um, Starkweather. What was the song about them? Because there was a movie they made called Badlands. Yeah, oh, it's Nebraska by Bruce Steinstein. Okay, I'll listen to this song. Yeah. Just type in Nebraska Springsteen. Springsteen. Let Julia do it. <laughs> type, type, doing dad typing. Mm, how do you listen to it? Well, I think if you go to YouTube and uh, just do like it, yeah. Oh, this is good. No, I don't play the whole thing. Now, this is a story about Charles Starkweather and Carol Fugate. He's getting ready to start. He's getting started now. Huh? Well, he's going to talk forever, but it's about Carol Fugate, and they were lovers mm -hmm. who, they they went on a killing spree together. Mm -hmm. Charles Starkweather murdered her his father, uh, her father and her sister, and a policeman and seven other people. So they were like these like serial killers, so this is scary, creepy song here. Bad, but, but it's beautiful, scary. listen to it. This is very romantic. You play on your guitar. Mm -hmm. Bruce, it's been great to live in the 21st century when he's in his hotel room and watch Bruce Stamp Bernstein live in those years. I can just pull side of it. It's actually ten people. Mm -hmm.
We're in New Jersey too, it's mm -hmm. like the spring thing. So. You have to listen to this thing. Yeah. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is, Ju Julia, I want you to type in, I want you to type in uh, Charles Starkweather, um, but I'll do it in a new window, yeah, no, yeah, so type, do it. And go to uh, images. Okay, look at that picture. Down. That was Char Charlie Starkweather and Carolyn Fugate, the two lovers. Now, he was obsessed with James Dean, and he looked exactly like James Dean. And she was 14 years old, he was 17. And they went on a killing spree, just like on the road to get together. And he was executed, mm -hmm. and she spent a lot of time in prison. She didn't know? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, it's the odd thing. I'm going to see a rock musical that my <laughs> friend Kent Paul is directing called Love Kills yeah. on Monday night about this is Charles Starkweather. <laughs> so that is full a uh, full circle. And mom and dad, we uh, and Eva and Sarah, can we send it to Eva and Sarah too? Hey. We love you all very much, and hopefully through little things like uh, video video chatting, uh, YouTube videos, oh, we can all just be one big happy family, even though we're distant miles apart. Mm -hmm. All right. Our countries in between. Okay, so say say. Ah, I love you guys. And I love you, mom and dad. Bye bye. <laughs>